Välkomna till ännu ett program av Veteranbils TV. Mitt namn är Ben Stål och idag så står jag tillsammans med någon som inte förstår vad jag säger just nu. But what is your name? Andrzej Wojciech Falinski. I am curator of the Museum of Technology and Transport in Szczecin. And that was what I was thinking the next thing to ask you. What, where am I? So I'm here in Szczecin. In the, in the museum. Yeah, welcome to our museum uh, in all um, old tram depot, Nimirinska, Osiemnaście. Yeah, but we are standing in front of a car that draw my attention immediately. Yeah, and it is called something. That what is it? The name of this car. The name of this car is the Warsaw, so Warsaw. Yeah. This is the first of the Polish car, so after the Second War, of course. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this is of the license of the Russian uh, okay. Pabieda, so if somebody remember the uh -huh, car no. Pabieda. Okay. Uh, it was a popular in the 50s, so it was a gift from the Russian, so. but officially we buy the license okay. from the... Uh, so th this one was, it's a Russian made car from the beginning and then it was transformed to like a Polish one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So be, so it was during the Stalin era that this one exactly happened. because you gave it quite a lot of things exactly. to, to you in, in this exactly. one. You gave the buildings and everything like that, you know. Uh, Before the death of the Stalin, it was uh, any possibility to, to, to product uh, okay. uh, original Polish cars. So, so, we, might, so we, we have to product, yeah. product the cars, but on the license uh, mm -hmm. by, uh, from what, the Russian. What kind of engine is it in this one? Is it like four? Yeah. Full, uh, four cent, uh, cent, uh, cylinder car? Or what yeah. Have, have, yeah. Is yeah. it the big? 15, 200, what is it? So the four, uh, 14 liter gasoline per 100 kilometers. So okay. it's a quite, it's quite a big car and uh, capacity. Uh, if you have a car like this, yeah. you can put here the two persons and uh, on the back side, yeah. for example, to uh, 300 kilograms. Okay. So it's like a big, 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 really big car. Yeah, just so. But this this one in particular, this was like you said something up there. Was it? But does it say? This is for the poli police. Police. I thought yeah. it was military. Yeah. But I, it is police. Okay. No, the blue one, the blue version of the, the colors was uh, popular for the for the Polish police. Okay. Okay. It's, it's still the same for 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 today, okay. but only changed the name. Now we don't have a militia, but uh, police. So okay. International. Yeah, so yeah. this is the version for the, poli so for the police. It was also, it was also popular as a taxi car and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the you also, you got also one over here that you know interests me a little bit. What, what, what can you? Is this? If here. we talk about the history of Polish motorization, the Polish car. So this is the siren, sirena. Uh, okay. It is uh, the Polish first Polish car made after death of the Stalin, because in oh, the okay. after 30, uh, 53. So uh, in this moment was a possibility uh, possible to, to, to uh, make a uh, realization of project of uh, really Polish car. The Polish car which was designed yeah. in Poland and product, producted in Poland. So the, 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 this one, where was it produced? Uh, the Warsaw and the, uh, the Sirena was uh, produced uh, the beginning in the Warsaw. Okay, uh, so in, in the Warsaw area? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. And okay. also this car was of uh, many models. So this is the model 101. It's a typical... Uh, it's you, locked. You, so you, you open on like this, yes, this yeah. one? Yes, so it's a suicide door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or a girl catcher. Gill catcher, as or we the say it in Sweden. Chicken, or the chicken yeah, catcher. Chicken, chicken, chicken catcher. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after there was a model of uh, 102, 104, 105, and also uh, <coughs> it, was, uh, um, it was only one, mm. one piece. But, uh, uh, how many did they do on this, this car? Thousand. Thousand? This was a popular car till uh, 70s, so 1970s, yeah. when it became the Polish Fiat. Okay, so it came like it, it, it continued up to like the 70s. Yeah. So you, they didn't do like in East Germany. They, you, in, you took some out, out some from the outside. And, exactly. But exactly. They, because this is, uh, it looks similar to like a yeah. the old Trabant, in fact, for me. Little, little. Um, so. But this is steel. All the steel. All steel. Yeah, yeah. All steel. Yeah, no yeah. plastic. No, no, it's not plastic in Trabant, it's uh, cotton fiber. <laughs> so, short before the siren, there was a prototype of this the 
with this car, the blue one, this is a Micros. It was a prototype of the Polish microcar. Uh -huh. So like in Germany it was a BMW, yeah, Janus, yeah. Uh, the Isetta, or the, in Italy, uh, Fiat so this 500. this is like a boxer it engine. Yeah, this was the idea for the my Polish microcar, um, but uh, they produce only 3,000. 3,000 cars and then became Serena. Okay, so this was, uh, that's a prototype you said, you know? No, this is that's the Serena. Yeah. Yeah, they made the Serena as a... Uh -huh. So, so they, 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 it was not just a prototype, they made, in fact, 3,000 exactly. before. Exactly. But how many was produced of this one, 50,000? I don't know exactly because if you this is a different uh, which version, 101 okay. or 102, but it was a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. It's a huge number of the of this car. Mm. Very, what very what kind popular. of engine is it in this Sarena? It's a two uh, two cylinder, uh, two, two stroke, yeah, two okay. stroke, two stroke engine, yeah, um, not diesel, so benzene. Yeah. Because we in Poland we don't produce the, the diesel the uh, cars with the diesel. Mm. But but it is it is in fact. Uh, uh, yeah. So where do you put the, the petrol? In the front also? Is it also in the front? Yep. So you put it, you, you put it in, in the tank here? Exactly. Okay. So you have uh, similarities to your brothers in East Germany then. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, popu did, the popular did, name of this car was uh, also Suck. Sucks. Sucks, because it smells like it sucks. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, but you know. <laughs> so you did also these things you know, to, to blend the, the, the petrol. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. And this car also was a f uh, different version. Of, this is for the, um, so like uh, for the normal passenger. Yeah, yeah. But there is okay. So it's also okay because yeah. th this one when, when I came in, it looked a little bit more like a French yeah. Renault. Yeah, you yeah. Know, this like is a model R R20. Okay. Uh, so for example, for the um, farmers. Yeah. For the farmers, so, the, for the, so it's, it was possible because we have a place for two persons, and um, the, the rest was uh, for example for the uh, some products for shop and the, from the farm. Okay, so okay. So it's, a, it's like a, some like a pickup version. Yeah, yeah? it's like uh, this one we see here from the, the exactly. workshop. Yeah, yeah. But the, this one is like really that started with the, with the Polish car industry, literally. This one started. It's like a Polish limousine, so yeah, only yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, but they started it and then it... Uh, but how long was this one produced? Uh, to the 60s. So uh, the 60s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So and I'm the done. End of the 60s, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Somewhere really? And so far? 68, 69 then or something like that? Yeah. yeah. But okay, <clears throat> but there is one thing that really is surprising me that is this car. Yeah. What this, is the name of the car? The name of the car is a Stuva V8. So this is a, a car made in Szczecin. So maybe not so many people in Poland and in Szczecin knows. And uh, before uh, 1945 in Szczecin was uh, the one of the biggest in 1920 in Europe uh, uh, automobile yeah. um, so car, uh, uh, factory. So uh, what, what I read to me was that this is the history the, of the family yeah, because there, was, the there were two brothers. There yeah. were two brothers. Yeah, and yeah. it was for one time it was the third largest in Germany. Yeah, this is the second generation. Okay. The third generation, the the, the Bernhard Stuva. So father start here and the eight and um, and the end of the mm -hmm. here uh, in, eight, in, in Stettin. Yeah, in nineteenth century. Yeah, uh, he made the small factory of the uh, sewing machine yes. and then the type machine. That's also machine. one thing that is interesting because yeah. manu car manufacturers. Had a had a huge interest in sewing machines. Yeah. Mercedes, Opel, and also this one. Typically German. So at the beginning was a sewing machine, then name a type machine, yeah. and a wash machine, and then became two sons, so Bernhard uh, Junior and the Emil Stuber, and he uh, started uh, at the father factory, yeah. and he decided to, to make a new factory, but not cars. Okay. At first was a bicycle. Okay. It was the end of the 19, uh, 1895, oh. 
He started with a small factory uh, of the bicycles, yeah. and then we uh, they buy the um, license of Dion Bouton, and he made a um, uh, not typical bike mm. with an uh, um, engineer like that. No, okay. But yeah. uh, with a tr three wheels and the motor from Dion Bouton. And this okay. is the beginning of the car industry in Shechi. Yeah. But so, it is really interesting because this is something that is really unknown for many people. Yeah, this for me it was really unknown until a week ago, in fact. This fabric, the Stuva, uh, Stuva fabric, uh, exists uh, from the 90, uh, so end of the 19th century till 1945. Yeah, and uh, in this short time, in this factory, uh, made over. 35 models yeah. of uh, cars like this mm -hmm. and also the electro uh, electro cars because mm -hmm. they start with okay. electro cars uh, buses for example the, okay. uh, for the England okay. uh, and uh, finally uh, in the second war it was a military industry okay. so they made uh, the, some like um, uh, yeah, German version of yeah. uh, Jeep Willys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because and it looks the same also in the front. They, they, yeah. they kept the front literally yeah. till the end in that sense. And I also noticed that they, they sold. So almost. No, no, they didn't sell. The, yeah. the Russians yeah. took the, this yeah. production yeah. model yeah. to Russia. Yeah. So each box. year they made a one new version. Okay. It's uh, incredible so for, 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 yeah, for it must today. must have been very expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes, uh, you know, some, uh, some of the models was uh, short series, for yeah. example. Uh, hundreds or the 200 but mm. some of them for example like this uh, was very popular um, they produced uh, thousands yeah few thousands of cars mm. so th this is really made here in Stetti. yeah 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 and the uh, so. interest because the after second war exactly in the same place where before 1945 produced car after 1945, produced motorbikes, okay, and also so the, famous in the same in the factory. same fabric. Uh -huh. does, uh, it, does this factory be, does it still exist? Uh, not yet, not yet, because the 1918, 1990, they demolished. This, okay. the, yeah, but it's uh, also interesting because uh, it was the same place, the same building, oh, but okay. not the same machines. Okay. Because it was uh, Germany, yes. Yeah, so yeah. After 1945, yes. The Russian decide to to uh, about a demontage, yeah. uh, all machine from this fabric, and they put all of them to the deep deep Russia, and yeah. also some of the cars because the first model of the Stuva yeah. from 1995 still exists in, in, in Russia, Okay. in St. Petersburg. They okay. have a museum of the technology, okay. <laughs> the first model of okay. a Okay, they car. also have. So they, they, they took this one and the lock, stock and barrel. Yeah, they, want, they don't want to, to, to borrow. It's, no. it's impossible to only, only go to the Russia and the sea. Uh, this. But, but, but this, is, this is a front wheel drive. Yeah, this is the first front wheel drive in Europe. Yeah, so everybody thinks uh, it's Citroën. Yeah. But it isn't. Because I see this is front wheel drive. But um, which year is this, this car? This is the uh, 1936. 36. So it's like in the end of the production here. So, I mean, uh, that they didn't know at that point, uh, 1936. They but. made a different version. Yeah. For example, the, the huge, really huge limousine with yeah. a really huge engine. I, I, see, I see something that is also similar to like Adler. Yeah, this the, is the, the engine, engine and the gearbox. It's similar to like Adler. I yeah, see. but this uh, design of the of this car was made also in here in Szczecin, yeah, in yeah. this fabric. Yeah, because I see this cracker thing, you know, where they put mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm, the, the mm -hmm, belt mm -hmm. in, in, inside there, you know. Of course, this fabric also cooperated, uh, for example, with Rur. Yeah. The another fabric they, they made in cooperation, the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the cars. Uh, but, yeah, this is interesting. interesting story. Interesting. I think there was uh, more than I really expected from, uh, the, from this museum, you know. But this is really interesting and I really want to thank us for, for you that you 
that thank we you very much. Go into this museum and I hope so. We, we uh, it was a great pleasure to to to, to, yeah. to visit you and uh, uh, to tell your 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 friends and the TV, TV guests about our museum. Yeah, I mean Poland wasn't just. Thing, if, if, Polskie Fia. It was a little <laughs> bit more also, you know. Oh, but this was the biggest surprise, you know, I must say. That this one was produced here in Stettin. Exactly. Uh, I, I say Stettin because it was produced in Stettin. <laughs> now we're Stettin. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So exactly. It is a little bit, there is a little bit difference <laughs> on that side. But uh, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.